if you're buying a new phone, you can easily spend about $1,000 on something like the iPhone X. Um, there's a lot of other models around the same price, and it'll probably be a good quality phone. But I think there's no reason to spend that much money um, when you can get a refurbished phone for a lot cheaper. This is the Google Pixel XL, um, and it's refurbished. I think it's a much better option. I actually purchased one. Um, here it is. This is the first Google Pixel model. Um, right now they're on the version 3. And um, some things to keep in mind whenever you are buying a refurbished phone. Um, you don't want to just go buy anything out there because you might get a low quality phone, you might have a bad battery, you might have a broken screen, so you have to know what you're looking for. They have some options right here, the color doesn't really matter. Um, storage capacity depends on what you're doing. I got a 128 gigabyte. Um, I prefer that. Now the condition, actually at first I got a D, acceptable grade condition. Um, and they have a return policy, free return, so I actually ended up returning it to get a quality uh, B, a very good. The reason is because um, this seller, if you scroll down, it has the condition details where it says if you get the D acceptable grade, even though it's cheapest, it's got all of these problems. And the problems didn't really matter a whole lot for me except the screen burn and the battery wasn't very good. Anyway, it's important to read if the seller has this. And I would recommend going um, a little bit higher of a grade. It, I think it'll last a lot longer. So, um, with a higher grade, you'll probably have a better battery life and then a longer lasting phone. Anyway, this is the 128 um, 128 gigabyte, very good refurbished phone, the Google Pixel XL. Um, it looks pretty similar to the first one I got, the acceptable grade, but um, the first one had some dings at the top, and this one doesn't have anything. Looks almost new. How to get free cellular service, and this would be through the Freedom Pop service. Anyway, um, when you're buying a phone, um, really good things to keep in mind would be um, the seller's notes on the conditions that it will be in and make sure you look at reviews see what people are saying if everybody is saying don't buy the phone because they're not refurbished properly then you probably shouldn't buy the phone also the return policy this one says it has 30-day free returns and if you look at the details it says that the seller even pays for the return shipping so that's one of the biggest reasons why I got this, because I figured even if it's really bad, I'll just send it back and get another one. It doesn't really matter. So return um, policy, um, the reviews, and what the seller has to say about it. You want to look into that. So I have the new phone now, um, and in order to get free cellular service, uh, one more thing that you want to check before you buy is that it is unlocked. If you have a phone that's not unlocked, you're going to have to stick with your provider and plan. So um, this phone is unlocked and it does have a SIM card slot. And that is what the Freedom Pop card is for. Freedom Pop is a service um, that will provide free cellular data. It is 200 megabytes a month so it's not a whole lot but for what I do it works just fine. I can text and call through Google Hangouts and um, I don't normally get anywhere near the limit with what I do. You do have to be careful um, if you go over the limit sometimes they'll charge you. It's a little bit tricky you gotta watch it but I think it's a great service and I'll show you how to set it up. I've already inserted the SIM card into the side of the phone um, and when you get your SIM card on the Freedom Pop website they have these instructions with iOS and Android. This is an Android, so I'm going to walk through how to do that. But before you use Freedom Pop, um, I have to warn you um, that you have to watch everything that's happening 
um, with your account and your charges because they might charge you and not tell you and then there will be fees on top of that for not paying or other fees that um, sometimes we can't predict. So we have another video, it's called Watch This Before Using Freedom Pop. It's a great service, but um, I recommend go watching that video. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, just so you know what to expect from the service. They do some deception to try to make you pay for the supposedly free service. But um, as long as you know what you're looking for, it can be a great service. Anyway, I'm going to start setting up and just skip through everything for now so that I can set up the SIM card. Go ahead and accept all of this. Skip that. Um, I'll just put in a passcode. And there we go. Um, the phone is set up. Um, and we can go ahead and come into settings down here. Um, here it says come to mobile networks. It's actually labeled here as network and internet. And then to mobile network, advanced access point names. And we've got two listed here. And we'll add a new one. The APN. Right here it says set to fp.com.attz. And okay, I'll set a name. You don't have to, it doesn't say you have to, but this is just so that I can see what it is. Freedom Pop, come up and save, and it shows up right here. Now we should be able to exit out. Um, and look at this and see um, our SIM card data. And um, you can see I don't have the Wi-Fi connected right now, but I can open up Chrome and look at pictures of cats using my data on the SIM card instead of the data from the Wi-Fi. So if you're looking into getting a new phone, I like or highly recommend don't spend $1,000 on something just get a uh, used, make sure it's a refurbished phone. Um, check the reviews, check the return policy. And if you want good service for free, make sure it's unlocked. And on your phone, uh, make sure that after you have your Freedom Pop set up, make sure that you are checking the information um, with your um, payments. Or else um, you might get charged fees from Freedom Pop. So make sure you watch that other video about Freedom Pop um, before you set that up. But I think it's a great setup with a cheap phone and a cheap service that definitely gets it done.